From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likens Show. What was that? I thought I heard something. Was that was that there or was that here? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likens. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likens Show. Wide open telephones on this Friday. Anything goes here. Anything at all at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Well, I was going to let you know, guess which campaign signs you do not see in Wasera, Alaska. You tell me. Palin. Really? You You do not see... McCain Palin signs in Watsora, Alaska. Why not? Very, very few. Why? And well, for very obvious reasons. Uh, and I think, I think tonight a lot of good things are brought up, especially a couple hours ago about IQ and things like that. And I think uh, a good point to be made. I mean, uh, the people running are very likable people. I'm sure Sarah Palin's very likable. Probably a lot of fun to be around. John McCain certainly has a good heart. He's a very likable person, but they are definitely, I mean, you can still like them, but they're not the smartest people for that type of job, and that's okay. That's and and by the way, them. I have personal experience with John McCain. He's not that likable. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> well, he can appear to be that way, but and he probably has some good intentions, but... Uh, but what's going on in Alaska, probably if... Uh, if she doesn't become vice president, she's probably going to wind up being impeached, too. And the funny thing about what, I don't know how much of that came out down here, but they just uh, went through the whole Trooper Gate thing. They came out with their findings, and they did find that she broke the law and that uh, she violated an ethics law. Well, the next day, she's saying, oh, I'm so glad to be vindicated of all any wrongdoing. Well, did she not read the first finding? The first finding... Uh, the four findings said you broke the law. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's, I don't know if that came out down here or not. But the, no, but I, is, no, no, uh, we saw the story. Yeah, it's, and uh, so stuff like that, I mean, it's a hard to take. But up there, um, you, very surprisingly, you do not see mccain Palin signs in West Florida. And uh, how much time did you spend there? Um, years. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, then, uh, maybe you can explain to us how in the world she became the mayor of Wasilla, Alaska. I wasn't there during that year. <laughs> but uh, I think it was a flip. Well, probably the same reason she's where she's at right now. Who knows? <laughs> Everybody's wondering. And, uh, and you know, the other the one uh, caller a couple hours ago was was very bright. He brought up a good thing about traveling and, and how that was so important to him to get an education was just by traveling. And there again, I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. And if you know, you know, Miss Palin and her passport only, you know, one year old, you know, or That's two right. years. Yeah. I mean, simple things like that that, that that have been brought up tonight do make a difference. Not saying that there's anything necessarily – wrong, but it's just they're not the person for that type of job. They're just not the brightest bulbs on the tree. There's no doubt about that. Ralph, hello. Hey, Tom. Listen, um, this uh, this thing about Joe the Plumber, uh, to me, it, you're missing the whole the, the biggest issue in this whole thing is what Obama said he would do to people like Joe the Plumber. Joe the Plumber could have been my illegal alien gardener. Or uh, Joe the Plumber was a fraud. Just admit he was a fraud. Oh, wait, jo- no, Tom, okay. Uh, that, he was a fraud, right? He could be a, uh, whoa, whoa, stop. Was he a fraud? Killer. Was he a fraud? And if he's making is he a fraud? Money, he said, is he a fraud? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, is he a fraud? He does, it doesn't matter. He doesn't. He doesn't own a plumbing business. He's not a plumber. He doesn't make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Is he a fraud? Is how much money? Is he a fraud? He make yes or no? Coming for you're us. not going to get this message in. So yeah. you're either going to answer my question or you're not going to get it in. Call Rush. Call Rush. You're not going to be able to do that here. Got it. Oh, okay. So Got it. You you, an, you answer? answer my question. I see, Joe the plumber is a fraud, is he not? Yes, okay, if he is. And he know. is not only a fraud, he's a fraud that's connected to the Keating 5 scandal. Isn't that true? Why don't you answer my question? What does it and matter? No, 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 because you know why? Because I'm the boss on this show. I'll answer the questions I choose to answer, and you'll answer the questions I tell you, or you will not Bruce continue. Do you understand? You- uh, again, you can call Rush Limbaugh. 
or Dennis Miller, if you can find a show on live anywhere, okay, you can call those shows, and they'll be happy to let you drone on for 15 minutes uh, at a blast of hot air. But not on this program, pal. Now, you're going to tell me, uh, uh, will you concede what uh, is already fairly well known? That Joe the Plumber is the son of the son-in-law of Charlie Keating. Charlie Keating was the Keating Five, and that was uh, John McCain's uh, little bandywick in the 80s. Uh, you're never going to get the message out, pal. You're on hold. Nobody hears what you say. Do you know that? There we go. Didn't get your message out? You will engage in a conversation, and you will follow my lead, or you will not get the conversation on the air. You are out of our demographic anyway, Grandpa, and so don't expect any special treatment here. If Rush Limbaugh can hear you with his cochlear implants uh, after his Oxycontin problem, go call him. Call someone who cares. John on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. Awesome. Oh, I have a big issue right here, Tom. I don't know what to do. I have this girl, uh, you know, her name's Cynthia. She's uh, past Salvadorian, half Guatemalan. She calls me, calls me, she calls my job. I mean, I'm going crazy here. I'm, I'm tra she, I mean, it's hard to get rid of her because, you know, she bought me a lot of stuff as well. She bought me a PlayStation 3, an iPod. She bought, she actually bought me a laptop, and uh, she's always taking me out to eat. And uh, I have this other girl here that I'm actually trying to get back with. That's actually my ex. We Why do you up. have girlfriends and ex-girlfriends? Why are you doing that? I have no idea, dude. I, I mean, I got oh, no, 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 no. That's not a good enough excuse. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I want and to I, hear the reason. Well, the reason was because I, I guess, you the know. The reason I, is I, you've got no game. You are afraid you will never get laid if you have to go to bars or clubs and, and, and spin game. So you feel you have to have a girlfriend in order to get laid. Then when you get laid, you probably are getting it on the side any way you can. But uh, you feel you need to call someone your girlfriend in order for them to have sex with you because you have no confidence in your abilities. Correct? Yeah, like I mean, I I do I do um uh, I you know I go to clubs and I you know the girls they talk to me sometimes I go up to them I get pretty good results. Well, but the reason well, is well, I, first of all, I, John, I, turn your radio off, which Dean told you to do, and you didn't do it. Oh no, I'm outside. I'm close to the truck, but I just TV, turn it off. radio, whatever it is, turn it off. Okay, it's off there. Um, yeah, and no, actually, I get pretty good results, but then if you get reason, good results, why do you need a girlfriend? Because I kind of believe in karma, in a way. What does that have to do with anything? That for some reason, I I go out and have sex with the woman. She might end up pregnant, and I don't want that. <laughs> in a way of So, the, so you have to have a girlfriend? No. Uh, what, no does, uh, what does a girl getting pregnant have to do with having a girlfriend? Well, I'm just, I guess you can kind of sound scared to leave her because she might come around my job and everything. Again. Why do you need a girlfriend? If you didn't have a girlfriend, you wouldn't have to worry about somebody coming to your job now, would you? Yeah, that's true. So why do you need to have a girlfriend? Well, I like, guess just for somebody to hang around with once in a while. Hey, don't you have friends? Yeah, but they live out in the valley. Sometimes it's hard. I get out of work late. So and make some goddamn friends, you pathetic piece of crap. Make some friends. All right. Or move to the valley where your friends are. Yeah, I got plenty of friends, but... Sometimes I don't even want to go out. It's kind of frustrating. Then, then, then move into the apartment building where one of your friends lives. That's right. I might check into that. Why do you need girlfriends? You're right, Tom. So you think I should just tell her that's it? Done. I haven't told her Done. Yet. It's done. You are too young to have a girlfriend, much less an ex-girlfriend and a girlfriend. Oh, you. The big part about it that I didn't tell you, she's actually a single mom. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And you I, thought I was going to sign off on that, did you? No. That's true. Yeah. So what do you just tell her it's done? I already told you. All right. You're Thank out. you very much, Tom. Can you take me out with the bong hit? Yes, I can. Like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likas Show. Short 
longest commercial breaks on record. They've never been this short. The Tom Likas Show. Wide open telephones. We do it every Friday. 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's happening? Not much. Listen, I, I have to say that, uh, I don't know, I think I'm kind of disappointed in you. Like, uh, Why? So I'm not really too sure on who I want to vote for in this election, but, you know, in listening to your radio show, you claim to be just a libertarian, no, not affiliated with, like, the Democratic Party or other Which I'm not, party. and I'm not. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not disputing that. What I'm just saying is, it seems that whenever someone calls in with something positive to say about John McCain or Sarah Palin or the Republican Party, you totally just shoot out down their ideas, you cut them off, and whenever... Well, first of all, we have not had a lot of calls about the Republican Party as a party. Uh, the fact is, I don't uh, have a lot of respect for either the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. And uh, uh, the people I we have been talking about are the personalities running for president. Correct. But it seems like whenever someone talks about, like, you know, for instance, they have a more conservative, like, point of view or... The guys that are talking that about That is not you know, true. If you if you want to have a conversation with me without yelling at me or uh, threatening me or whatever, I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you. I'll prove it to you right now. Go ahead. That's what I'm talking about. Go yeah. ahead and do it. All right. So what I basically wanted to find out is just why do you seem like you're just so biased and it's just like in favor of... It's not a matter of being biased. You, you have to understand something. I, I am not a newscaster, not a reporter. I'm not a journalist. I'm a radio personality. Okay. I am under no obligation, any more than Rush Limbaugh is, uh, to be fair and balanced. Is Rush Limbaugh fair? You think so? I'm asking. Is he? Uh, honestly, I don't really uh, like follow like politics too much. That's why. Well, I was... uh, if you ever listen to a political talk show or a show where politics are discussed, the host usually has an opinion. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. So uh, bias is not a problem in my business. You're expected to have a bias. Okay, that, that makes sense. I understand that, yeah. You see? Now, if I were writing for the New York Times, if I were writing for the Washington Post, if I were writing for Newsweek, uh, then I would be expected to keep my biases uh, to myself. But I'm not a I'm not a reporter. I'm not a journalist. Well, okay. Like, is there a reason? Like, what is your reason for supporting like Barack Obama? Like, I I told you, like, I'm not really too sure on who. Because I we have to get George Bush and every remnant of George Bush out of the government. If you elect John McCain, he'll keep some of Bush's people, and he agrees with ninety percent of what Bush does. Meaning, you will continue what we've had for the last eight years. I, I guess, yeah, you could say that. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really too sure on what, what I want to do. That's why if you're to... happy with the way the last eight years have been, you should vote for McCain. Well, I have, like, my father's, like, a small business owner, and it's like, you know, we'd be in that, that top 5%, you know, that... that um, Obama... By the way, so would I. Okay. Uh, granted, granted, I'm sure that you do make quite a bit much more than, you know, my family business does, but that's besides the point. But I'm uh, telling you, I would be affected, too. I just don't see, you know, some people don't realize that 75% of all the businesses are created from small business owners. Like, I mean, not businesses, but 75% of employment is, is, is... Well, I've heard different numbers, but I do know the majority of, of jobs uh, are created by small business and... I'm sorry? And, and... I also know the majority of small businesses make less than a quarter million dollars a year. Uh, you know, like I said, I just want to see sure what I want to do, but uh, thanks for, for clearing up my head here, Tom, and I want to find that. See, so. and look at you. Here yeah. you were all uh, angry at me. Did you get your point across? I wasn't angry. I just It just seemed a little... But did you get your opinion on the air? I did. Because you didn't call in and act like a jerk. I, I like that. Yeah, I, because believe me, I'm a fiscal conservative myself. Well, I'm not going to accept a moron calling in here and yelling at me and trying to tell me something is not true that I know to be true, that Joe the Plumber is a fraud. Well, yeah, that may be true, Some, you know, whatever he... How, you, how can you have any credibility? Uh, if you want to call up, for example, you might say, Joe the Plumber is a fraud, but so what? Everybody does dirty tricks. That's fine if that's your opinion. Well, but but don't start lying to me about it. 
I think it was like, you know, McCain's attempt to pretty much reach out to the middle class, like, you know, what Barack Obama's been pretty much dominating this whole election doing. Well, uh, you should do it with real people instead of fake people. Yeah, I was going to say, I think he just picked a bad, uh, a bad source there. Well, just like he didn't uh, check out Sarah Palin. Did you hear him say on the Letterman show he did not know her before he chose her? I honestly, I never heard that. No. Did, it, was, it was on Letterman last night. Did not know her. I don't know. He could run with someone he didn't know. He chose her without knowing her. Rather, Barack Obama be the he uh, heard about her president or Joe Biden, if you had to say. I'm sorry. The presidential nomination be Joe Biden or Barack Obama. The presidential nomination. What we already know. No, Barack I'm Obama. Saying, if you had to pick, would you rather have Barack Obama or Joe Biden actually leading the country? Uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yes. He doesn't, his lack of experience doesn't really, like, scare you? Uh, no. I, I don't think experience uh, is the most important thing. And by the way, uh, McCain could have made that argument until he nominated a complete neophyte and a moron to be his vice presidential running mate. Now he's not in a position to say that Barack Obama doesn't have experience. Yeah, I can say that's like your opinion, but, you know, she's... Well, most, congrats, you, you may call her a moron, and most people in this country... Do you, are, are you, you, may, you may like the fact that she's the vice presidential nominee, but are you going to tell me that she's smart? No, I honestly, I don't believe that, but to, to counter your point where you just said about, um, you know, lack of experience, is, it's not really that big of an issue... Sarah Palin doesn't have that much experience, and I've heard you crush her because she doesn't have enough experience. She's only a governor, you know? Uh, uh, but again, because people bring up Obama's experience. Well, yeah, but, but if you look at... Uh, my biggest concern about Sarah Palin is not her lack of experience. My biggest concern about Sarah Palin is that she's a moron, and she's a loaded gun. Okay. All right, I can that's, that's my biggest concern about her. Her lack of experience, uh, uh, that's my secondary concern. It is not my primary concern. All right, well, all right. Tom. And, and by the way, Barack Obama has been a United States senator and has been in Washington, D.C. Yeah, but he's only been on the United and, States Senate floor for like 200 days and all of which uh, is pretty much... Uh, you know what? That's 200 days more than Sarah Palin has. Definitely. All right, Tom, well, thanks for taking my call, man. I got to get out of here. All well, right, you go right ahead and do that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, what's up, Tom? Not much, Eddie. Man, uh, first time caller, long time listener, man. Love your show, dude. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, man, I just want to make this quick point, aside from the story, just because I heard one of your topics from like a week ago or something about your favorite trend of restaurants and stuff. I just want to point out Farmer Boys from, uh, Southern California. If you've ever been there, best restaurant ever, man. What is it called? Farmer Boys in Southern California. Uh, well, Southern California is a big place. Where in Southern California? Um, you could find it in um, Whittier and La Mirada. I know there's one in there's one in Fullerton and one in Las Vegas. Actually, there's one in Las Vegas. I've been there, and um, a couple in Anaheim and Diamond Bar. I think. And and here. what do the Farmer Boys sell? The Farmer oh, Boys burger, dude. It's like a quarter pound burger, but I mean this thing is huge. I mean, with all your veggies and everything. It's just better than, an, I would, so honestly, it's better than in and out you know? Really? Way better. That's really. pretty substantial if it's true. It's true, man. I tried this. I just went, to, it was right next to uh, an in and out One day, me and my friend went in there, It's uh, and we decided, where do you want to go, man? Did you do a side-by-side -side comparison? No, we well, we didn't know anything about Farmer Boys. This was the first time, so we're just like, hmm. And, oh, yeah, well, in and out was, you know, packed, so we just like, Let's go to that one. Let's go to Farmer Boys. We went in there. Best food I've ever had in a long time, dude. Sounds good to me. Uh, you got to try it, dude. But aside from all that point, dude, um, I'm a Navy recruit right now. Plan on leaving in a couple of week, in a couple of months, you know. And you, know, I had this relationship on and off, and I really need a man like you to show, to give me some, you know, good points of, because I've known you talked to uh, military guys before. And I just want, like, an advice from you. you okay. Know? What What do you want to know? Well, I want to know, should I stay or should I go, you know? forget Stay about or go where? Should I cut all ends with this girl, man? 
I, you shouldn't have a girlfriend at 20 years old. I know. Period. You, say that to, you tell that to a lot of guys, man. I know. And now, is that thing. your kid in the background there? Uh, what? Is that, <laughs> is that your child? Who is that in the background? No, nah, dude. Uh, uh, me and my sister went out to lunch, and she just left to say she loves your show, too, man. She's a big fan. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Why do you need a girlfriend? I don't know. Well, this has been a, a relationship for a long time, and it's been meaningful to me. Yeah, but the fact is you're losing out on your youth. You're losing out on the opportunity to have all the experiences people have when they're young. Yeah. I Throwing it away. Sure. And, and when you wear a uniform and you go overseas, do you know how many women will want to get with you? <laughs> Dude, that is true. That's a really good point. And you're going to throw that away? No, I, I really didn't think about that. I mean, people have told me, oh, well, you look better in your uniform and, you know. Uh -huh. like, yeah. Yep, yeah, you're going to throw that away. I don't think I want to. Well, then you know the answer. You do not need a wife, a girlfriend, or a child right now. And Damn. Damn, thanks, Tom, a lot. And thanks a lot for your help. I know what to do from now on, dude. All right, Eddie. Thanks for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas Show. Open telephones on the top like a showdown with the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. It's Carmen on the top like a show. Hello. Hey there, Tom. Hey there. I just wanted to find out what your thoughts were in reference to two items. One, uh, with Obama and this whole lawsuit of not being uh, an American citizen and uh, him basically um, requesting to uh, seal uh, the documents. Um, or his steal his records. And number two... Wait, 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 um, wait, wait, wait. Stop right there. Who is not an American citizen? Um, Obama. Uh, there is no... Not being able to produce a birth certificate. There is no evidence that Barack Obama is not an American. None. Right, but there isn't any evidence that he is. <laughs> How about the fact that his mother's an American citizen? Would that, uh, would that, uh, count... I would assume that it would count, but doesn't it say, I mean, you've got to excuse me here, I'm not uh, big up on politics, but... Well, he was born in Hawaii, which was a state when he was born. Right, but, And his mother is American. Right, but... And, and do we know, I mean, are you saying you don't believe that's his mother? No, that's not what I'm saying so at all. So he was born in the United States, and his mother's American. Doesn't that tell you he's American? It would, except for one thing. The fact that uh, he wasn't born in Hawaii. Yes, he was. Well, from what I understood... From what you uh, understood from whom? Well, what I've understood from from things that I've read, and I can't name, remember the actual name one, name. one credible news source that has said that Barack Obama was not born in the United States. Um, I don't have a credible source. Well, that's, that's right, you don't. And that's why uh, the, your comment is irrelevant, because uh, you, you are making something up, or you misunderstood something, because Barack Obama did live for many years outside of the country. Right, and I but understand that. does not that. mean he was born outside of the country, or that he's not American. Right, but my question to you is, is basically what your thoughts were in regards to the lawsuit right now i don't remember the lawyer's name that brought it on i'll be honest but from what i understood so, you, and so the lawsuit with the lawyer you don't know the name the accusation right. you don't know where you read it or who said it and you have right. no credible source for anything you're saying go ahead okay but i wanted to find out if you had heard that and again i don't know the lawyer's name but i wanted to find no, out because it hasn't been in any may has not been in any credible publication Okay, so you don't have any thoughts in regards to that lawsuit where I I know that the provide. internet is a big place, darling, where people say anything about anyone, including me, by the way. No, they say anything about anyone, and anybody can get online and say anything. Right, but it was all. You know what I love to do for fun? I like going to Wikipedia and editing people's pages. No, I understand. 
understand all I that. love doing that. You can put in anything about anybody. You can say anything about anyone. I agree and, with And people you. say, well, I saw it on the Internet. I saw it on the Internet. I, I you agree can, with you. You can do that. I agree with you, but I also... I like doing it to my own page. Are you kidding? My Wikipedia page is so riddled with inaccuracies. Do you think I'm going to correct them? Absolutely not. I don't want people knowing what my real uh, brother's name is, or my father's name, and guess what? My Wikipedia page is full of mistakes. Right. Good. And, We're going to leave it that way. And I, and I agree with you with that. So but... uh, you probably read this on the Internet somewhere. No, I actually saw it on the news in Ohio. The news. I did. So you live in Ohio? No, no, no. So I how can you see it on the you. news in Ohio? No, I saw the news story that hit that came out of an Ohio interview with a lawyer uh, who. But you can't tell us what publication it was, and that's because it wasn't in a credible publication. Okay, but regardless. Now, not regardless. That's very important. And the fact that you heard something that you think somebody said in a sort, you'd have no source for it. You don't have the name of the person who said it. You don't have the name of a credible source that published it. It wasn't even probably even published. It was probably on some website on the Internet that anybody can start a website on the Internet and it's on the Internet. Okay, so in other words, you've answered my you've answered my question with regards to your thoughts. You don't believe that there is a lawsuit out there subpoenaing. What I believe when I today. read things in credible publications, then I believe them. Okay, let me ask you something else. The other thing I wanted your thoughts on were in regards to um, Acorn and um, the investigation that's going on with them with voter registration. And from what I understood, Obama served on the board of directors there and was also an attorney for them. Would you be able to Again, tell me your if you on have that? if you have proof that Barack Obama encouraged people to illegally register to vote by filing false uh, registration uh, forms, I'm very interested in hearing what you have, but you don't. No, I, I don't. That's why I'm calling to see if you, you are more into politics than I I'm am. I'm trying That's to tell you, darling, you. there is no proof of this. If there was, it would be on the front page of the newspaper. It would be the top story on the Fox News channel. Mm -hmm. I just I just don't feel like people really know or even How do you investigate know? it. How do you know about it? Um, because, again, we're going back to the Internet here, um, but... I do read a lot of news articles on the internet. And but yes, if you not know about it, if, if yes, you know, know about that. it, if you know about it, other people know about it. Right. But that's why I'm so surprised that more people aren't investigating it, trying to get informed about it. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but the bottom line here is that if you know about it, others know about it. You're not the only person who has a mouse and a, and a, and a computer. Right. I just. I really wish that people would investigate it more and really find out. Darling, I, I if really there's like a lawsuit, Obama. if there's a lawsuit, it will be investigated. Okay, but in regards to the acorn, the, the subject I brought up with regards to acorn, I'm not saying that he did anything illegal. I'm just saying, uh, isn't it a little odd that acorn has voter registration uh, investigations going on and he was at the he was a board of directors there don't you think it's great that they're investigating they're throwing out anything that was uh, a result of fraud or illegal behavior don't don't you think it's encouraging that they have promised to fire anybody who was involved in illegal behavior no definitely and, and it happened before the election not after no, I this is not the big uh, scandal that you want it to be, and it is not the big uh, conspiracy theory that you're trying to concoct. Oh, I'm not trying to concoct a conspiracy theory. By all means, I am a supporter of Obama, but I also, and you know, want to be an informed American citizen too. But again, don't you don't use if there's been a lawsuit filed, then uh, we'll see what happens. The, uh, that's why we have a court and that people can file all the lawsuits they want. But uh, the fact that, you know, anybody, by the way, I've been the victim of two frivolous lawsuits. Anybody can sue anybody for anything. Anybody can say anybody did anything. OK, that the fact that there's a lawsuit doesn't prove anything at all. Okay, let me ask your opinion about this. If, in fact, hypothetically speaking, 
Okay, there well, was you, a lawsuit. If it's, hypothetically, if it's hypothetically speaking, it would not be in fact. It would be a hypothesis. Okay. Well, excuse me. Hypothetically speaking, if there was a lawsuit um, for Obama to prove that he, in fact, did uh, was born in Hawaii and was an American citizen that way. That's all, no, no, of, but lawsuits are, you understand, lawsuits do not compel anyone to do anything. Judges and juries do. Okay. Well, I if think, a judge or a jury has demanded to see proof of Barack Obama's citizenship, and he declined to provide it, I'd be very interested in that. And when you hear about that happening, you let me know. I will definitely But it hasn't that. happened, and you know it hasn't happened. I know it hasn't, but I'm saying, wouldn't it have just been easier just to provide the birth certificate and be done with Again, it? Again, <laughs> you know, everybody has their own way of doing things. Uh, the judge and the jury are the ones who have, and I don't think there'd be a jury in a case like that if his lawsuit does exist. But uh, the, the judge would have uh, control over that. You get back to me as soon as a judge says, prove you're an American, and Barack Obama says, no, I won't. You get back to me. Okay. In the meantime, can you go ahead and take me out uh, African tribal style? I certainly can. Baninge, 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 so finza. Baninge. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show with wide open telephones at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Had the shortest commercial break we've ever had. My head is spinning. Don, hello. Dawn? Yes, hello? You busy over there? Uh, I just, I just heard your voice. <laughs> and well, there was a lot of static That's in the what background. usually happens when you pick up a phone. You hear a voice. Uh, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay, Dawn. That's good. Um, the last, the young lady you were speaking to, um, before I came on, she used to go home, crack open an English book and a, a political science book. What I want to say is, is that Barack Obama will tax businesses that are making over $250,000, which most small businesses do not anyway, even though they provide most of the jobs. They don't make over $250,000. If they read the newspaper, credible newspapers like the L.A. Times and New York Times, they would they would understand that and know that that fact has appeared in uh, many more places than just those. Uh, uh, I I've read it. I don't even know where I read it because I've read it so many times. Exactly. So I mean, most look most people in this country are not you know middle class. Most people in this country are working class to lower working class. Right. To really, I mean, you know that's that's that, that's the statistic about people in this country. Everybody thinks that. Most people in this country are middle class, upper middle class. That's not true. That's why we're having so many problems in the economy right now with losing jobs and, um, you know, some of the other things that are going on with the economy. A lot of people are hurting. And Barack Obama is going to come and, you know, create policies that will help people that are in that, that are, that are going through the situations that we're going through now. But these people that call up, and want to bash him for whatever reason, maybe they don't want to vote for him because they don't want to see a black man in the office, which is going to happen, by the way, anyway. I agree with that. Um, yeah, um, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Did you see the lines yesterday? The lines for what? For voting. Where are people voting? I mean, not for, well, registering to vote. Oh, uh, voting, registering to vote. Was yesterday the states. deadline to register? Uh, for some states it was. Yeah, I, I didn't see them, but uh, I know there's going to be the best turnout in 20 years or more. Yeah, it is. It's 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 it, it is, and it, it is going to be for a good thing. I mean, what we're going through right now is just atrocious. I don't believe people are out in the streets protesting. I mean, my a friend of mine lost 75 percent of his portfolio two weeks ago. What was he invested in? He was. He had some hedge funds and some other. Hedge I don't, funds. I don't know exactly what. But hedge funds. Oh boy, oh boy, your friend must have a lot of money. 
Well, Tom, that's only those are the only people I associate with. Is that so? <laughs> you, I just thought I'd do that in there. There Tom. must be no chrome on the trailer hitches in your driveway. <laughs> but um, no, he lost, you know, seventy five percent of his portfolio. How does that feel? I mean, come on. You'll never know because you're not talking to him anymore. Oh, I'm still talking to him. I'm not that shallow. <laughs> that's just because you believe the market's coming back. <laughs> No, Tom, I have my own money, too, so, I mean, I'm not, you Who'd know. Who'd you get that from? Huh? <laughs> Who'd you get that from? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, where'd I get it from? Come on. Yeah. I mean, I, that's just me. Really? I didn't get it from, I didn't get it from anywhere. Are you an entrepreneur? No, I'm not an entrepreneur. I just, you know, I have a, a good job. You do? Put it to you, put it to you like that, just yeah. Just checking. I just want to say you are so funny. I listen to you. I, you know, I'm not in the kind of the demographic that you kind of you target, but you are extremely funny, and it's just hilarious when you have these young guys calling in on what to do. They're falling all over the little wee wee. It's just so hilarious. <laughs> it's just really hilarious listening to these guys call them, What can you? What should I do, Daddy? I mean, I'm like really falling out of my chair listening to you. You're so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Todd, for the call. Ray on the Tom Langus Show. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? I've been waiting for a while, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, good. Um, couple, couple, couple of statements and a uh, couple of facts. Number one, this country is 232 years old. In that time, there's only been 48 people who have done this job. There's no such thing as a training course. There's no such thing as, as apprenticeship for this job. So the fact that Barack Obama does not have experience, neither does McCain. In this job... They do not have experience. So George, somebody, hey, hey, George Washington had no experience. Exactly. Nobody did. Nobody that took this job had experience in this job. Ever. 232 years old. 48 men. That's it. There you go. <laughs> he ran out of steam. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, is this me? Am I on? I don't know. Who is it? If it isn't yeah, you, buddy. then who is hey, it? Hey, hey. Well, well, I'm Paul, and I just wanted to know, uh, I want to know your opinion. What do you think legalizing weed would do for our economy and the deficit? You think it would help us? Well, but... <laughs> our deficit is beyond that kind of help. Well, if you... You if, would have to start if, smoking if you think about up... how many people smoke pot... You would I have mean... to start toking it up in a big way to make up this budget deficit. Are you kidding me? Are you, I'm doing my part. You, your mom... Probably hey, at the same she's, time. She's doing her part. All My right, whole family it down. And we got, uh, you know, we got some people on the staff here. I don't doubt it. There's staffs everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody. If, if somebody, if you don't, you know five people who do. Right. And if you branch off those five people, it's you know it's the trickle effect. And everybody smokes. Whether you know whether. You but I think you're gonna smoke. have to add pot brownies, uh, some pop lo pot lollipops. Uh, exactly. And, uh, to make up this bunch of dips. Really just smoking it, but all the other things that come with hemp. Kill. There's not a big demand for hemp shirts, okay? Let me save you some time on that. Well, well I'm, I'm not talking about shirts. But, you know, there's other things hemp can be used for. You know how much rope things. we could be yeah. selling right now? Walk, walk anywhere on the boardwalk on any beach in Southern California. With the economy and, the way it is, you can sell a lot of rope. <laughs> I don't know about rope. I don't know what people are using rope for, but, but I'm just saying, like... We're in such a deficit. Couldn't we use the help? Yes, it, of it, course. No, but I'm not talking about I, uh, legalizing all drugs. I'm not, you know, I'm not oh, I, about By the way, drugs. I'm a libertarian. I'm in favor of legalizing all drugs, all drugs, including pot, all of them. Every time, you know, every time it comes on the ballot for, um, you know, medical uses, it passes with flying colors. And I know the Fed overrides that, but how can it even be on a, you know, a state ballot if the Feds are going to override well, it? Anyway? And by the way, the Fed is failing. How many people do you know who have medical marijuana card here in California? Oh my God! If I, I too many, not too many. It, it's 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 a beautiful thing to me. Like, yeah, I mean, the feds are not going to be able to stop this. That yeah. So Every now and then they'll why? come in and shut some stores down, but the the reality is, it's here, it's here, and it's here to stay. That that's the bottom line, Paul. Uh, let me try to squeeze a couple more in here. Miles on the top like his show. Hello. Hey man, what's up? I just I had a question. What's up with all this political? BS that, you know, we hear, like, if I see a presidential debate, even though I'm only 17, I can't vote, I wish I could so freaking bad. But 
these presidential debates, they sit there and they're all happy to each other. That's BS. They, the next commercial that comes on TV, as soon as the debate's over and everything's over, they're, they're slamming each other. Why the hell don't they do that in debate? I mean, seriously, what the F? Because there's not much to be gained by doing that. In fact, I know that research has been done by all the experts uh, who uh, are behind the marketing of these candidates. And this year, people take the issue so seriously that negative campaigning, negative trash talk, this election is not working. I'm surprised. And that's why that. you see John McCain there with gritted teeth sitting there trying to smile. <laughs> because you know that's his real personality. He's just a mean bastard. And you I'll know, agree with that 100%. And he has to come on there and, and, and smile at the black guy and act like he doesn't hate his guts. Yeah, and then I got I got a quick question for you. Uh, do you think that we're going to we're going to be under a socialistic government if Barack takes office? No. 20, no are you kidding me? No. Well, think about it. Say you're making like let's say $100,000. He's going to tax the living hell out of you. I mean, if you want to give that money to poor people, it's called a, it, it's called giving it away to charity. But I mean, I I can see the you. biggest tax we have right now is the devaluation of the dollar. It has nothing to do with income taxes. It has to do with devaluing our dollar. And that's what's happened over the last eight years. All right. Well, thanks for having me on, man. I want to say, can you take me out the African tribal style with the machine gun? And I want to thank you so much for Flash Friday and making the $40 a date rule. All right, Miles. Here you go. Bye, Bye, yeah. All right, uh, here, our email address. You can write to us, send your complaints, your comments, your criticisms. Tell us what you think of the show. Write to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. If you want to hear our show streaming live, go to our website, BlowMeUpTom.com, between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Click on the Listen Live button, and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.